Japanese culture, which they have to offer and they have to share with you. Now she can draw the kanji depending on the customer's request or request, and of course specialize it um, based on your aura. So let's say today, if you're feeling lucky, or if you're feeling happy, or if you're feeling, you just got this rush of, um, of happiness going through you, and you may exude this kind of aura. Head on down to the Sukatsu stall, and she will be able to put this aura right down into a piece of art. Okay, so I'm going to invite her up on stage right now to let her just share with us what kind of magic she can actually share with all of you right here today. Mr. Council, ladies and gentlemen, round the applause. Please.
down and give it to you, I believe, later on. We're going to let these art pieces dry up a bit. Okay, and next up, something really, really interesting. So the first second display is going to be on oysters. Now, of course, as part of Singapore Delicacy, Singaporeans actually love oysters. So what Ms. Fukatsu is going to do right now is she's going to do kanji on oyster shells. Okay, some of you are going, oh my goodness, is that actually possible? Well, feast your eyes on Miss Fukatsu and she actually shows you how she does her magic with Kanjiya on oyster shells. And as for you, young lady, she'd like to give that piece to you. of art that she's doing for you right now. And especially for you, she's actually going to be giving these pieces right up to you. So if you want to have four lucky words to be put into the house as an ornament, well, come on up and tell Ms. Fukatsu that you want a piece, whether it's on paper or whether it's on these oysters, it's really lovely to have it at home. Okay, so we're done with the kanji on oysters. Next up, she's going to use three or four pieces of normal paper. Again, getting inspiration from all of you, and of course, from all the auras that you're actually having right now, whether you're happy, whether you're in love, or whether you're feeling a little dull, but that's quite impossible because today is Saturday. So all of you should be happy because all of you are out and about and joining us today at the Japan Fair. She's going to be putting all your auras down onto kanji art right, right here, right now, on these lovely pieces of paper. And 
Here she goes. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, do not feel shy. She's going to invite you up on stage for her next uh, display of kanji art. And she's going to ask all of you to just gather around on stage to check out exactly what she's going to do for your next event. Okay? It's a little surprise. I'm not supposed to be able to tell you until all of you come up on stage and see it for yourself. Okay, and this piece, as Alisa and Mia turn it to you, this piece, the kanji art, is, represents smile. So smile meaning happiness, you know, meaning being willing, uh, in love, and of course, being happy all your life. This class would like to wish all of you that right here today at the Japan Fair. Okay, next up, ladies and gentlemen, I know you don't get this very often, but we're going to invite all of you to come on stage. We're going to invite all of you to come on stage and just, you know, don't be shy, don't worry, this is an open stage for 